John Lohr is Nova Scotia's minister responsible for the Office of Emergency Management. He's with us from Halifax. Hi, Minister Lohr. Good to have you on our program this evening. Well, thank you, Vashi. It's good to be on the program. Uh, minister, I wanted to start off by asking just what your expectations are. How concerned are you about this hurricane making landfall? Well, we're extremely concerned about Hurricane Fiona, and it's it's rapidly heading towards Nova Scotia. We know it'll make landfall on Saturday morning at 3 a.m., and it will have significant impact on our province. And specifically, what kinds of impacts are, are you most concerned about right now? Well, there's a variety of impacts. We're very concerned about high winds. Uh, we're very concerned about a possible two-meter storm surge and uh, some areas having up to 200 millimeters of rain, rainfall in a very short period. And all three of those things will cause significant impact. And which parts of the province are, are you most focused on at this moment? Well, we're, we're still somewhat uncertain exactly where the hurricane will make landfall, but it's becoming less uncertain quickly, if you understand what I mean. So it, it almost certainly will make landfall in either Cape Breton or the eastern mainland. And uh, both of those areas, particularly Cape Breton, look to be right exactly in the path of this hurricane. So um, from Halifax east almost is uh, the area of, of extreme concern, but all of the province will be impacted. And tell me a little bit about what the province is doing or what they're what you're able to do to, to start to prepare for that. Well, we've we've done a lot of things and our municipal partners are working very hard too. We've already activated our provincial command center, which brings together all of the agencies that would have a role in working on the uh, uh, on uh, the emergency measure response to this. And we've uh, we're uh, also, I've been in contact with my federal counterparts, Bill Blair. We've been uh, the Minister of uh, Public Safety. I've been in, we've been in contact through uh, emergency measures with our, our military, if, if necessary. We bring in the military. And uh, we're, we're also looking at all our options. So we're, we're preparing for this uh, the last couple of days. So we, we've in, essentially started early preparing for it. But, but it's hard to prepare for not knowing exactly where it'll hit or what it will do. And we're also getting the message out to our citizens to take preparations for it. And let me ask you to just expand on that. Uh, if, they are, if there are people in Nova Scotia, which I, I'm sure there are watching right now, what is your message to them for the next 72 hours? Well, we want them to do a number of, of things, to be ready for 72-hour power outage, possibly to have food and water on hand, to look at what they can do, to have uh, cell phones charged, to uh, look at uh, what's around their house. So we know that with very high winds, things can become flying missiles, so children's toys or whatever, barbecues, things that are not secure. So secure things around your house. And, and we're asking them also when the storm hits to stay inside, to not go to the ocean, to not go look at the waves, to uh, stay put, and uh, also asking them to keep an eye out for their neighbors too, and uh, uh, actually to just be in touch with each other and, and look out for each other. Is there any experience you can think of? I mean, obviously we don't know the, the degree to which this will hit and the depths of the, the impact, but is there any experience the province has gone through that comes to mind when you think about the kinds of preparations that are now that now have to be underway? We've had some hurricanes. I mean, Nova Scotia will almost every year get a hurricane of some sort. And uh, we've had some very memorable ones. Hurricane Juan was very difficult for us. The military was involved. That was a smaller storm, maybe geographically. Recently, we had one a couple of years ago called Hurricane Dorian, which covered the whole province, was well, a larger storm. So this is sort of a medium-sized but very intense storm. And it will, like I said, it will bring very high winds and a lot of rainfall. And this is a serious storm. You mentioned the conversation with your federal counterpart, Minister Bill Blair. Uh, when, you, uh, when you made the ask, I, I'm assuming for, if necessary, additional resources, his response? Oh, absolutely. And uh, uh, kudos to Bill Blair. Their department reached out to us uh, maybe quicker than we reached out to them. So we appreciate that and uh, their offer of support. So, uh, you know, we... We still we still have to have the storm. We'll see what happens. But in the aftermath of that storm, whatever help we need from the federal government, I know it will be there. We appreciate that. And uh, so we, we're hoping that it won't be that much, but we're ready and we'll be prepared to deal with whatever we have to deal with. 
And just when you speak about the provincial command center, is that coordinating as well? And you had speak, spoken a bit about this or referred to it with municipalities, because I, I, I would imagine they would play a role in a lot of the things you've talked about, too. Absolutely. And our municipalities all have emergency measures plans and emergency measures coordinators, and all of them would be online with the provincial command center and uh, our, uh, many other like our fire service providers, police. Uh, many different, uh, all of the different potential uh, people who can add to uh, helping the response are, uh, are the various uh, provincial government departments like Department of Transportation and, uh, and, and uh, our own EMO uh, part uh, of uh, our government. Uh, we are all there at the table. And just, Minister, before I let you go, are, are you, obviously, we have witnessed uh, the hurricane's destruction already, for example, in Puerto Rico and other places. What specifically over the next 12, 24 hours are you going to be watching for in order to try and assess what the impact could be on Nova Scotia? Well, we're, we're going to watch, I mean, wherever it makes landfall, we're going to watch what happens. I mean, we're, we're concerned about our transportation network. We're concerned about, for instance, the Canso Causeway is of concern. There's a possibility that it will make landfall right there. Uh, so uh, our transportation network and obviously our coastal communities, coastal flooding. And with the severe rainfall, we know there's a possibility of culverts being washed out and things like that. So we'll be watching our, our road network and uh, we, w we just want people to be safe. Okay, Minister Lohr, I'll leave it there. We sure are wishing the best for you and, and everyone really in Atlantic Canada over the next little while. Thank you. Very appreciated. Thank you. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.